Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Farm Simulator 2019, welcome to episode number two of Stone Valley, the plays, the Maze Plus edition, and today guys, we're out here disking. Now, it is early autumn, the second day of early autumn. Uh, soybean har harvest is done, we just finished that actually today. Uh, we had two rows left to do from yesterday because it started raining, we couldn't finish it. So, yeah, we finished it today, and the combines are all ready for uh, corn harvest, which is uh, the next, uh, won't be tomorrow, but the next day after that, we probably should be able to, might be, um, hopefully we'll be able to harvest it. But anyway, uh, right now, we're, as you can see here, we're disking here. We're not the only tractor on the field today. Um, uh, we have a worker, uh, with another little disk, and another section there, where it's, the field's kind of split up. Um, what am I doing here? Um, so one section is going to be planted coal over, and the section that I'm disking up right now is going to be, uh, alfalfa. Uh, I've seen alpha, al uh, alpha, I'm not saying that correctly. Um, and it actually looks like, sort of like, actually how it should look in real life. Uh, one thing I have done it, I'm not, well, is, this, here's the thing. I did it, I, te I test baling it and cutting it. Uh, without seasons, and from what I've seen, you don't need to dry it up. Uh, I think you just instantly go bale it, because that's what I did. It turned it, it didn't say grass bales or like silage, it just, it just said alfalfa. So I think you can just bale it straight up right after you cut it. So I'm not sure if that's how it's in um, seasons, but. We'll find out. So this is actually our newest addition to the farm. This tractor driving here in this disc. Uh, we have another disc like this. That's what the other tractor is doing over there. In case um, in this John Deere we have. Not else. What else we're going to use it for other than breaking up ground. Um, one thing I have noticed, it doesn't turn super well. So that's why we're doing the headlands first, and then we'll do the. Uh, the uh, rest, um, but yes, the we have two of these discs, and then we have a cultivator. And these discs, the only thing that's different about the two discs, the disc is the front l l first the level first, the front part of the discs aren't discs; they're these little chip things. I forget what they're called. The other disc is all just disc, and they're different colors. But other than that, they're the exact same. So this is the John Deere 75, four, sorry, 4755. Uh, it has about 200 horsepower. Or do I have the 190 engine in it? Uh, hang on, let's quickly check that. How much horsepower do we have in this bad boy? Uh, I believe it's 190 or 100... Uh, 190! Okay, so this is the first time we're using this tractor. Uh, we have a 40, 49, 55, which has like 200 horsepower. And that one's are probably actually our most used tractor at the moment. Um, it's hooked up right now to the auger wagon, and uh, we'll probably be you'll probably be seeing it more uh, in when we start corn harvesting. Hopefully, I'll have assistance with that uh, and multiplayer wise for my cousin if he's up for it. He, has a, he said he'll be downloading all the mods, working on that, so we should have the next day or two starting that. So, if you also notice that, yeah, that corn, corn silage field that we were doing last video is still not done. Uh, we are almost halfway, about over 200,000 liters of silage already, or maize, or how you call it. Um, the one thing we need to do, um, I will try to get it finished before uh, mid-autumn hits. Um, but I need you to refill the harvester. The harvester is getting very low in fuel. The truck has already been refilled, but yeah, that's the only thing I really need to do about that. Um, the combines, as I said, are all ready for the corn harvest. All we need to do is just wait for it's ready, and hopefully my cousin will be available to help me out on that. Uh, since this is, uh, he's going to be hopefully in the next quite a few videos for this series. And, um, but anyway, yeah, so al Alpha, back to the story, uh, we're planting it, we can't, uh, harvest it all year round, uh, I think it's one harvesting 
time of the year. Uh, it's two planting seasons, times you can plant it. Let's just quickly look at it here. Um, so alpha, we're right here, so we're gonna plant it. Harvesting is all through here. Uh, clover is also planting here, but clover is a little, little different, because you gotta harvest it, you can harvest here. So that'll be interesting. So we probably might be harvesting clover a lot sooner than normal. Let's look at that again. Uh, clover, 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 clover. Yeah, I think I think we might harvest it around here or here, probably here, hopefully. Um, so we can get other than cows being other than just silage, we can get some clover. Um, but yeah. So. Also, again, if you're new to the videos, all the mods that we use on this map are uh, in the mob hub, so it should be in the mob hub. They were in the mob hub. <laughs> they have removed a few mods from the hub mob hub before. Um, it's only a few, a handful they have to ever done that, but I think we still have all the mods that are in this game in the mob hub, so yeah. All, most of them are pretty new, some of them. Um, but anyway, these John Deere tractors are really nice, but the case ones that yeah, we also have, I think we have, we have three of them. Uh, one's actually working on this field right now. It's a, uh, not our high horsepower. We have a four-wheel drive one and then two, uh, two-wheel drive ones. Uh, and we have a two-wheel drive one on the field right now. Our four-wheel drive one is our planter tractor. It has the most horsepower. Uh, the, the case ones can get more horsepower than the John Deere ones. The John Deere's can only get 228 horsepower, and the cases can go up to 240, let's say 43 horsepower. But, yeah. So, yeah, that one's on our planter, which needs 230 horsepower. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, you're about almost halfway on that field. Um,. We're getting plenty of silage. We might actually get, sell some of it. Depends on how much, how long it lasts. Uh, if, if we have still quite a bit left from when we get the uh, our clover and stuff and alfalfa baled and everything, then we'll uh, definitely uh, we'll buy some more. So how do I want to? Uh, yeah, this field's kind of wonky. So. Not 100% sure how I'll do this. I'll probably actually split it another again, right at the end of the field. So this might be actually a three field field uh, split field. So we'll see. Um, actually, let's head over here and see what we got going over here. So we might be able to see our pile of silage we got going on here. Uh, there it is. Yeah, it's getting it's getting there. Getting a decent amount. All right, let's uh, actually come back around here. Yeah, we'll probably close it off right here. Let's actually do let's do some landscaping here, uh, and then we'll put this field into something else uh, other than. Yeah, we can probably maybe do another cornfield. Maybe we have our silage field uh, or silage corn. Um, that would be that might be a good idea right there. Yeah, we'll put this one right here into our silage corn. So we don't need to break this ground this this up right now because we're not going to need to plant it right now because an alpha and uh, alpha. Yeah, why can I not say that right now? And clover, we're going to be planting. Uh, try to get planted before mid autumn. Uh, I would love to get it planted before then, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, all right, and then we'll uh, close this off. Look a little realistic going on here. Alrighty, a little low in cash. I did buy some equipment. Uh, this tractor is one of the things I bought. I bought another semi truck with the trailer, so we're hauling. Uh, Grain a little bit better. Um, one truck is good, but once you have harvesting on two different fields, it's kind of kind of hard because I was doing that uh, this year, harvesting on two different fields at the same time. Yeah, it 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 it, it, it would have been nice if we had uh, some another at least another truck. 
All right, so we're gonna get uh, this guy working on this side. So this, this right here, we might put a barn here. I'm not sure we'll put right here. I think we'll put something here. I think most of the hair we're gonna store into that building right there. So that's gonna be a slash storage slash machine shed for hay barn. So it's gonna be it's gonna be this that barn's gonna be have a, quite a bit in there. There's a lot of space in there, so be uh, just interesting interesting to see how how I put this. And we also need to go buy a fork for our tr uh, bale fork for our tractor in there. We only have a bucket at the moment, but anyway, we'll get that later. All right, get this last few rows, and then get the worker on, and then I'm gonna head back and do some more silaging while these guys are breaking up this field. And then we have, we also did buy a new planter. Uh, planter we have right now, it only plants. It's only, it's only a corn planter and soybean planter. It doesn't plant grass or weed or something like. That. So we bought another planter that costs about 100, 100,000. So not super expensive, but Definitely put a hole in our bank account for a little while. Other than that, though, uh, should be content for equipment for a while. But yeah, there's the case over there if you can see it. You little, little, you can see his cab. Um, but yeah, all right, we'll do two more passes that direction on that side of the field, then we'll set the worker on on the go. So you may be wondering, wait, is this planted? Is this has a crop grown in it? No, this is just, it looks planted, but it has it says there's nothing in the field. So I have really no idea what this is because it hasn't done anything this year. The workers haven't, the AIs haven't done anything with it. So it may be kind of bugged out kind of crop. So we're just gonna cultivate it in since it's not gonna do anything since it's not, it hasn't, hasn't done anything since uh, the game started, so. Yeah. So we're doing two rows on this side of the field, so the worker doesn't really mess up a lot. We're going to another field. Uh, then we'll uh, set the worker. So we get the two rows, and then set the worker. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll go probably finish my harvesting. I need to go fill up the harvester and fuel because it's uh, very, very low, almost empty actually. So hopefully I can make it to the fuel station, which I bought one. Put it right into the uh, barn, the farm over there, so we should be able to uh, make it there. I think it's like maybe ten, not like five percent left of fuel or somewhere around there. It's my estimate. Yeah, not a whole lot of fuel in that thing left, but it's it's working really well. It's a little small, but it's getting the job done. We've already had two hundred thousand liters of silage, which is a decent amount already, and we're only halfway through, so we're we'll probably get around five hundred. Thousand, which is going to be a lot of silage. That we're probably going to sell a good portion of it. Probably, maybe. It all depends on how this uh, hay crop go, turns out and when we can harvest it. So, kind of a learning learning experience with this new hay crops and stuff. Sort of messed with alfalfa, but clover. I have no idea what it even looks like. So that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, this is practically the end of the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you guys did hit the like button and subscribe and see you guys later in the next video and uh, stay safe guys and uh, there's uh, way more to life than you know. But anyway, uh, shout for now guys and have a great day.